Okay, so my New York Islanders were just eliminated from the playoffs. And while this loss stinks, I am way more depressed thinking about our god-awful future. In a mere 10 months, this man, Lou Lamorello, has absolutely slaughtered our long-term future. You already know the backstory. We were primed for a retool rebuild after an 84-point season, but the old man decided to double down and go all in. At 2022 NHL draft, he traded the 13th overall pick for perfectly average Alexander to Romanov, who again is a solid player, but not worth a lottery pick. Then when we were out of the playoff picture, he traded Atu Ratu and the eventual 18th overall pick for Bo Horvat and gave him an eight-year, $8.5 million extension, who would go on to be absolutely invisible for the entire playoffs. So where the hell does that leave us right now? Well, first up, let's look at the core in their current contracts. Bo Horvat and Matt Barzell are both very good players, but they are overpaid and their contracts kick in next year and are eight-year deals. Our beloved captain Anders Lee will be 33 at the start of the next season and owed seven million dollars for the next three seasons which he already isn't worth. The Pelican Palak pair took a big step back this year and they're both going to be 29 at the start of the next season making a combined 11.9 million dollars till 2029. Lastly 32 year old Casey Zizekas an above average fourth liner is owed 2.5 million dollars the next four years. So if you're counting at home that is six contracts that are are untradeable and are probably going to age horribly. And that's also ignoring Palmieri and Pajot, who are also pretty old on long-term deals, but are only making $5 million per season. So the core is old, but surely there's got to be some young players in the system. Wrong! In early January, they were ranked 27th by The Athletic and the Hockey Writers when it comes to teams' prospect pools. With The Athletic describing it as a glut of okay to solid prospects, not exactly a ringing endorsement. And remember, I said that was in early January before we traded away our top prospect, Atu Ratu. So in the trade, we traded away our first round pick. So when they do those rankings again in the summer, we are gonna be bottom three, no doubt. Maggio, Dufour, and Odelius are solid prospects, but those are most teams' fourth to sixth best prospects. So to tie it all together, Lule Morello in the past 10 months has gone all in, tanking the future just to lose in the first round in six games. This group will be mildly competitive for the next two to three years. It is not a horrible group, but they can not win at a high level in the NHL right now. But after that mediocre three-year window shuts, we will see a long, long rebuild similar to what Mike Milbury put us through. So Lou, thank you for the five playoff series wins. It was a fun five years, but you have ruined this team's future.